Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, I'm going to teach you about jQuery class selectors. Guys, jQuery class selectors will allow you to select class elements from HTML document. Then you can apply some jQuery to it. So, in this tutorial guys, uh, we're going to use external jQuery file. So, I created a new jQuery file. And I start typing document dot ready function and uh, now I'll save it. I'll give it the name of selector.js. I'll save it. And type function. Now guys, firstly we'll create a class. So I'll give it to class equal to I'll give it the name of first. You can give any name. And now Firstly, we will include external jQuery file. So I'll type script type equal to text JavaScript source equal to it's in the same folder and its name is selector. So I'll type selector dot JS and then I will close the script tab. Now, guys, I'll create a style tag and I will set it C as a so dot sign firstly I will give it a width of 100 pixels and height of 30 pixels and uh, background of red so Firstly, I'll open it in browser. Now, it's our classes ha class has been created, so I will increase its width and height. So, give it 50. Now it's looking nice. So I write this is class first class. Guys, as you know that we can use classes multiple times as compared to IDs because we can use IDs only one time but we can use classes multiple times so I'll copy it and I'll paste it here so I write this is again a first class now you will see and uh, I will also give it a margin bottom margin bottom of 10 pixels now it has some margin at the bottom now Guys, uh, now firstly I will apply some jQuery to it. So we will go to our external jQuery file. So I write dollar sign and two brackets and single quotes. Then I uh, will type the name of our class. So its name is first. So we'll type dot, which is simple of class dot first. Now it has selected first class. Now we will apply some jQuery. So we'll type dot and fade out. Fade is in small letters and O is in capital letter and UT is again in small letters. So this is called camel casing. So now I will give it a speed 2000 means 2 seconds. So if I refresh now you will see it's hidden 2 seconds. Now guys I will make a P tag and I will give it a class of first. I close the p-tag so I write this is paragraph tag with first with class first so if I refresh I will see all the tags or developments are hidden because we have applied jQuery fade out function to a first class and this first class is applied to or given to all, the, all three elements. Now, I want to apply jQuery to only those classes or only those elements who is inside a div element. Means, I want to select only those div tags who has a class of first. So I'll type div dot class name. Means it will select only these div tags which has class name first. So if I refresh, now if you'll see only 
div tags has been hidden who has a class named first so in the same way if I'll type p here p dot first means select only those p tags who has a class name first so firstly we will make one more p tag I will not give it any class so now you will see it will hide only this p tag because it has a class named first as we have applied it here p dot first if I refresh now you will see this was p tag this is p tag and the content uh, p tag which has been fade out was also p tag but it has a class name first so uh, guys there is one more uh, one more thing about classes we can apply jQuery to multiple classes at a, at a time so I'll create I'll copy this all this content I'll paste it here so I'll give it a class of second second and uh, I'll give it of second now I want to apply a jQuery on both of these classes so firstly I remove it here inside this code I write dot firstly the name of class then a comma the name of second class second now jQuery is applied to both of these classes so if I refresh now you will see everything is hidden who has a class named first or second so this was about jQuery class selector so in the next tutorial guys I'm gonna teach you about jQuery ID selectors in more detail so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial